Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Samir Jeet. We're here in the city of brotherly love in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania at none other than Saad's Halal Restaurant. Saad is known for bringing halal food to this local area. So let's go on in and meet the person behind Saad's Halal Restaurant, Saad. Assalamu alaikum. So folks, this is Saad, the man behind Saad's Halal Restaurant. So Saad, why don't you uh, give us a quick uh, overview of how you got started in this business and what makes you so famous here in the Philadelphia area? Well, I'm originally from Lebanon. Uh, and my family, they have a restaurant. And uh, when I came to Philadelphia, you know, finding halal food was really hard. Yeah. Really hard. And I know from Lebanon, we had a problem finding halal food because they were importing meat, frozen meat, that from European country, we know it's not halal. Right. So okay. when I came, I was concerned. And this is how I started the, uh, the halal, since my family was in the restaurant, I started the halal business, concerned about the Muslims want them to eat halal, I want to eat halal, I want to, you know, right. I want to treat of my customer like I want to treat myself. Right. So that's the idea. And I started from a halal lunch truck. A halal lunch truck. Lunch truck. Where where was it? Here it was on in 38 and Spruce, yes, University City. In University, okay. City, next okay. to the campus. Nice. It was really hard on me going slaughtering, you know what I mean? Trying you were slaughtering the, the meat myself. yourself. Wow. Yes. Okay. I was like a little cowboy, <laughs> flip the little cowboy sheep, tie him up. And yeah. Sometimes I skin him because I have to get it done. Yeah. yeah. Help those guys. There you go. So yes. you heard it from. The Biha halal meat, hand yeah, slaughter. Yeah. And everything's halal here. Yes, and it has to be. Can you sell haram? You can't sell haram. No, you go not. to some place and they tell you, this is halal, this is haram. Who said you can't sell haram? <laughs> right. Your hours are, are kind of unique. Why don't you talk about what yeah, when we are close you... for Friday prayers because it's an obligation on the Muslim men yeah. to, do, to attend the Jummah. Sure. So, and uh, according to the hadith that leave selling and buying, right, they call right. for the azan. Right. So, that's what we do, alhamdulillah. And, you, and you're, and uh, from what I heard is you're also closed during yeah, Ramadan? Yeah, we close for Ramadan too. Oh, okay. For okay. 30 days. Ramadan. So why do you do that? Don't well, you, for you the know. sake of Allah, and okay. plus we got to take a break, and uh, we're not supposed to sell meat to Muslim or non-Muslim, I mean not meat, I mean food, right. to Muslim or non-Muslims. Okay. Because an obligation on them to be uh, Muslim, so it's an obligation on them to be uh, okay. fasting. Yeah. Well, look, I'm excited to be here. I heard a lot about you know some of your items why don't you tell us what your most famous uh, what you're known for? well you know it's uh, everything we make here from scratch even right. though it's fast food and sandwiches but that's why it's so good and fresh all the time right and people right. come okay. back again and again yeah. and again and so we came out with the sandwich they called a marouche it's supposed to be a, like a chicken shishtawuk right it's well known they call it a gyro a gyro they call it a gyro but we call it a shawarma right. and a chicken we call it chicken shishtawuk it's in the same wrap with a garlic sauce, grilled chicken breast, garlic sauce, tomatoes, lettuce, tomatoes, and a parsley. Right. And we wrap it in a okay. pita bread with a garlic sauce. Wow. So I kind of did the American version of it, and I called it the marouche. It's the same ingredient, the grilled chicken breast, the garlic sauce, the tomatoes, and the pickles, but I put it in a roll, <laughs> and I put it in a panini. And wow. somehow, even though it's the same ingredient, but it has an amazing taste. Yeah. Yes, well, so you people know. loved it, and that was a success. Awesome. Well, you're making my math water. Yeah. <laughs> so I also heard about your cheesesteak. Cheesesteak, amazing. Yeah. That too, a couple of years ago on Yahoo, it was a comparison between me and a couple of restaurants. Okay. They call it the best takeout in Philadelphia. It was between me, uh, Gino's, uh, Tony Luke's, and Pat. And also a place called the bottom of the sea. They make seafood, nice seafood. Right. And I, I won all five stars and I got the award. That's awesome. Well, I'm excited to eat both those sandwiches. So, so that's it. We're going to try out the chicken marouche and we're going to do the Philly cheesesteak. I'll be all glad right. to make, make it first. We're going to make you the marouche, the famous marouche. Okay. We're going to make you the famous cheesesteak. All right. Awesome. Even though everything else is nice. Yes. All right. Watch out. So first well, we're going to so get the, uh, the grilled oh, chicken. Marinated it's chicken. already marinated. Okay. That's why I call the shishtawu. Shish tawuk, the word originally it's not Arabic, it's Turkish. Shish it means skewer, tawuk it means chicken. Because usually we do it that way, we put it on a skewer like a kebab. Right. But I did it my way on a grill because it's a sandwich. Put a nice amount. Uh, yeah. 
know. And then while we're cooking this, this takes like 10 minutes. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna make the cheese steak. Okay. Uh, hey, uh, Samir, would you like to put mushroom or green I, pepper? I like it with everything. Give me some green pepper. Cut some green pepper. Cheese steak from Philadelphia. Let me tell you one thing. Now, now, this is. A West Philly style, they always say South Philly style. Right. The South Philly cheesesteaks, they put the uh, steaks like a, a strip without cutting it. Uh, okay. For us, we chop it up. Right. Okay, and they put a yellow cheese, like a cheese whiz. Right. Ours different, we use the American halal cheese. Okay? Oh, okay. And we put mayonnaise, they don't put mayonnaise. Oh, okay. so this is some... A little bit, a of, little, a little bit of information. Yeah, a little bit. I used to do all this by from scratch. Now I have my butcher that he get it for us and he sliced it for me. Each this is a half a pound of meat. Okay? Half a pound for one cheese Yes. Yes. I mean it has to be half. Alright, yeah, I gotta make sure I go to my kick box. With the seasoning. Oh, I can't tell you what kind of seasoning. Special seasoning. Uh, we sauteing the uh, mushrooms and the garlic and the uh, green peppers. And it has to be done just like the meat. And the sauteed onions. The onions make the steaks. I, I really always recommend onions. Onions yeah, make the steak. What do you mean on those steaks? I tell them it's not a steak. We usually put four slices for a regular cheesesteak. If they want it more, we can put more. I have the technique for a cheesesteak. Put it upside down. Let it melt a little bit. Uh, chicken cheesesteak. Uh huh. At my house. But it was just so much work. Gave up. Wow. <laughs> well, I don't know. it's fine with me. Come to me. I'll take yeah, care of you. Yeah, I'll feed I'm you. I'm learning a lot here. Are you learning my technique? I am learning your technique. Oh, yes. hundred. That's okay. <laughs> this way, when you come so, and visit me, you can help me too. Uh, absolutely. It's two pounds. When you put the onions and the stuff away, like a ton. Uh, you, so you get a good workout every day. Yes. <laughs> this is Saad's workout video, by the way. And now the ketchup. No. You gotta cook with love. <laughs> He's gonna paste. Are gonna Of course, the famous amoroso roll. That's what makes the steaks and the uh, sandwiches taste so good. You go to a different state, they make cheesesteak, but they don't have amoroso roll. And now we're gonna put it in the panini grill. Uh, our secret garlic sauce. Everybody make garlic sauce, but this is our secret recipe. Tomatoes. Little parsley. You know, it's a Middle Eastern sandwich, so you gotta put little parsley. Hey Samir, you didn't ask me why did I call it a Marouche? Yeah. Marouche, it's a famous restaurant in Lebanon. Right. He does. You know how in Lebanon, in the Middle East, they make the sandwiches in a wrap? Yes. But uh, the marouche, he does the sandwiches on a roll. Oh. So that's why I called it the marouche way. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. And now it's ready. Slice it in half because it's really big. Okay. And it's ready to serve. Walid, man, where are you at? Yeah, yeah, they just, they just, he made, he, I was watching him make the sandwiches. They should be coming out any minute now. A pickup for Samir. Yo, I think, I, yeah, they're calling me, man. A pickup for Samir. Scott's so calling me, Sam, sandwich, sandwiches are ready. All right, I'll see you in a minute. All right, sorry. That's why you can't hear me. No cell phone, please. I'm sorry, Rafi. <laughs> 
I was talking to Waleed. He said oh, he's what are you coming? Yeah, well, but sorry, we have a no cell phone policy. Okay, uh, I apologize. Yes, but a lot of people they got carried away talking yeah, in the yeah, phone. Yeah, yeah, I, get, I do that. I have like two cell phones. No, you, you were, couldn't hear a thing, but just. Yeah, but why do you, why do you have this policy anyway? It's like, you know, we know when the next cell came out like a few years ago. Next it was like a two way, oh, two -way the thing. Two -way, yeah. It was too annoying. We did it to create an atmosphere in the restaurant, so we wanted people to enjoy their food right. without people next to them talking loud. And you know, most of the time, people will be cursing, yelling, without noticing wow. there's people around them. So okay. we always tell them, you know, yeah. don't turn off your cell phone, just you can stop in the hallway, or you can stop outside, right. do your business, just no cell phone. So, it's like yeah. no... That's awesome, because yeah. it, it creates a, you know, a, better a better environment for the other people sitting we, around. Plus, we want them to enjoy their food. Yeah, of course, we want to enjoy this food. Yeah. I mean, who doesn't? Check this out. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Sad. Good. Enjoy today. All right. So we're here with the food. We got the Philly cheesesteak and the chicken marouche. So I'm going to check the... Hey, yes, I don't want to <laughs> Sorry What's about going that. on? I'm sure you got yelled at for the for the cell phone. Yeah, I did. I'm I did. That's I... no, all good. He, he's cool. Man. He actually hasn't posted all over the store. <laughs> I know. So I should have uh, yeah. yeah, I should have texted you or something. Yeah, nah, it's, it's, it's all good. He, he was cool. Yeah. Just, so look, we, right. got, we got our Philly cheesesteak and the chicken burger. Sister Fatima, your sandwich to go, ready. All right. Sister Fatima's sandwich. It's a fit. Sister Fatima's ready to rock and roll. So are we. <laughs> yeah. She's been waiting in her for an so hour. So I think this is the infamous one. <laughs> yeah. Your marouche. All right, let's try that first. Let's go with the marouche first. All right, let's see what's going on with this. This one, yeah. So let's, let's dig in, All my right. friend. Let's go. Mm. I wonder why this is his number one sandwich. Yeah. You yeah. know, the first thing I taste is that garlic sauce. And on top of that, he's not just known for the sandwich, he's known for the Philly cheese yeah, Definitely. He was telling me earlier that, that's it. I mean, this is what his signature item is. Mm. And then also he won an award for the uh, Philly cheese. I know you told me about it last time, so now I'm trying it out. <laughs> Absolutely. Mm. It's really tasty. For any of you that love healthy and fat at the same time, this is a sandwich <laughs> to go. Yeah, exactly. You have grilled chicken. You have these cooked onions, which yeah. are amazing. And you got the tomatoes, the, all the fresh vegetables. It's got it's got the tomatoes, sautéed onions, and he's got his marinated chicken breast. So, and he's got what is this parsley, right? All adding to that flavor. And everything that he makes, everything that he makes, there's just a certain touch to it that he really. He really gets a job done. And he's, he's open less than 300 days a year. And he's the most one of the most successful businesses in the area. Mm -hmm. Close for Ramadan, and he's close on Sundays. Mm -hmm. Just to give family time, and to give uh, Jum'ah time, and to give Ramadan time. Yeah, so the bread, it's a panini style bread. It's not, you know, soggy, it's still crunchy. And it's toasted. No. And after he puts all the ingredients and he tops it off with a special sauce. Yeah, the garlic sauce. He yeah. still gives it more time to still marinate and soak in with each other when he heats it up inside of his warmer. Yeah, I know. Instead of seasoning mm. was the secret. So mm. everything else we got to look at, but yeah, we don't know what's in the sauces. Mm. That's for sure. I'm speechless, man. <laughs> I'm speechless. I'm going to keep eating. Sorry. Now we're going to try the Philly cheesesteak. So let's dig in. Let's go. Trying to take my sandwich too. Yeah, I'm, you're trying I to you heard take good, a piece out of me. Yeah. And I believe uh, this is about a pound and a half meat. Pound yeah, and a yeah, half yeah, meat. Yeah, yeah. Imagine that. And then when you go it's, home, you go on the scale, it's, it's like extra couple pounds it's, for the it's day. It's overflowing. And it's overwhelming yeah. as well. Right, so take a look before I bite into this. We've got the green peppers, the sautéed mushrooms, the sautéed onions. Okay, and we obviously the, the Philly steak. All right, along with the cheese that he melted on there. Mm. I'm sure I've worn a white sweater. 
Serious damage, man. It is. <laughs> so again, Serious going damage. back to our yeah. the first sandwich, we were talking about the different vegetables. No, yeah, man, you're dropping everything. Though. Hey, I'm displaying it nicely. <laughs> we have green peppers. We have the onions. Yeah. We have and mushrooms. So whenever um, whenever you think about healthy, you can also think, think about, about the unhealthy. The unhealthy part as well. Yeah. And Sato says like the regarding the the onions. If you don't have the onions, you really don't get the the whole, you know, tasting and the, yeah. the whole Look, spiel of the uh, the Philly cheesesteak. I've eaten a lot of bootleg Philly cheesesteaks. This is original. This is original, man. When you got diced up meat like that, that's original. Yeah. All right, so alhamdulillah, that was such a filling meal. And it was really heavy. <laughs> so I don't think I'm eating dinner later on tonight. Yeah, it makes two of us then. Yeah. It was a healthy with an unhealthy twist. Yeah, yeah. it's good enough. It's it passes in my yeah. book. Yeah. So I, I want to introduce you to Walid here. He's my buddy. Uh, we came here on our first halal date about a couple months ago. He told yes. me about Saad's. And he goes, you got to meet Saad. You got to check out the Philly cheese steaks. It's halal. I know Samir, you're into Samir, you know, you're doing your episodes. You definitely got to check them out. So, uh, you know, so thanks for bringing me out here. Um, also, I wanted to mention that Walid works for an organization uh, that many of you know, Islamic Relief. Right? You guys are worldwide. Alhamdulillah. Um, do a lot of great things out there. So I support you guys. Uh, Thank you. So, but why, why don't you tell tell us a little about what you've been up to? Um, you travel a lot, I know. Yeah, since uh, you know, Alhamdulillah, we've given the opportunity to uh, be able to serve the Muslim community and and work closely with them. We're always able to come across great restaurants like this in my travel. So, I, you know, I told Samir that you know this is a great opportunity to maybe uh, you know look into Saad's right. since I've been out here so many times. Uh, and I know Saad, and he knows me by his first name, uh, and, that was, and that's the same feeling Samir got when he came over. Alhamdulillah, yeah, yeah. And uh, Islamic Relief, Alhamdulillah, it's, uh, you know, it works in terms of uh, you know, alleviating poverty, and I think this falls in, uh, you know, Saad alleviates people's hunger. <laughs> yeah, he definitely does, yeah, absolutely. And uh, Alhamdulillah, like, uh, we've yeah. been uh, working extensively with uh, different situations, actually, just recently the, the tsunami in Japan, Japan occurred. Japan, yeah. And, uh, we're responding to that with our team out there and we have the Libya situation uh, okay. in Egypt and all over the world so uh, you know when you come back and you you know honestly when you get a good meal and you really sit down and you think about it you learn about uh, you, you know you really have the time to think about what's really going on in the world and you appreciate the food uh, um, that we had in front of us today okay, definitely no, it's, it's, it's unfortunate yeah what happened to the people of Japan you know our prayers are with with those people um, as well as in Libya Egypt and all over the world, anybody who has a, a situation going on, you know, we pray that a lot sure, yeah. brings, uh, you know, brings. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> Take care. Okay. Some you random. No, so, the, the, on the dude, you know who that was, right? That was the guy in the car. Yeah. Some, okay. some random guy. All right, so, some random guy works so, for the ghetto version of TMZ. Yeah. And we've been able, he's been yeah. following us since we yeah. got out here. Right. He came so, in as uh, his, his beat down <laughs> van first, and now he came on foot just to make sure we were real. Yeah, yeah. All right. So I encourage you to donate to these causes. Um, where, where could they uh, check you? Your... Check us out on uh, IslamicReliefUSA.org and you know check out the appeals that's going on and you know encourage people to do good and you know get the word out because uh, at the end of the day it, uh, organization doesn't function without your support. Sure. Well, look, uh, good luck uh, on your travels. All right. so I know you're traveling this week, so make dua for me and uh, for all uh, the people around the world. Inshallah. Woo! That was a filling meal, man. I feel so heavy, I could barely walk. I guess that makes two of us. <laughs> yeah. It looks like I'm going to be on the treadmill first thing yeah. tomorrow morning. I'm going to be going to my kickboxing class more than once this week. <laughs> so anyway, I just want to thank you for coming uh, out. No problem. Um, showing me this spot because if it wasn't for your recommendation, I wouldn't no, have found it. I mean, we all, we all know the spots in Jersey, but to come out in Philly and, and find a good, clean, halal restaurant, I wouldn't have done it without you. And so every, you. everything about this place is halal from A to Z. You know, he doesn't leave nothing out. Yeah, So I that's see why that. we should continue to support businesses like this. And definitely, yeah. hopefully, we uh, get you out to more restaurants soon. Inshallah. Inshallah. So until next time, I'll catch you on the next episode. Assalamu alaikum.